Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this beautiful exponential math problem without any use calculator and without any rough work or standard multiplication, which is 500 raised to power 4 minus 500 raised to power 3. Then we will try to make these two numbers the same. So for that here we will try to make their power same. So here we will change this power 4 to the sum of 3 plus 1. And then we will use an algebraic identity here, exponential identity here. So therefore we can write this number as 500 raised to power 4 but 4 can be written as 3 plus 1 minus this number will be the same 500 raised to the power 3 here in this one number we will use an exponential identity a raised to the power m plus n identity so here in this one number we will use this one identity a raised to the power m plus n which can also be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here, we will split these two numbers 3 and 1 over 500. So this will become 500 raised to power 3 times 500 raised to power 1 minus this will be the same 500 raised to power 3. Look at to both the terms, both the number here and both the numbers. This 500 raised to power 3 or 500 cube is common. So we'll take out common from both the terms. So this will become taking 500 cube common. So here only 500 is left minus as we can write one in front of with any number. So therefore, here only one is left in the second term. I'm going to subtract and simplify these two numbers. So here we can write this 500 as 100 times 5 which is 500 whole cube times and this will become 499. Now next in this one number we will use another exponential identity a times b whole to power n. So here in the first number we will use this one exponential identity a times b whole raised to power x which can also be written as a raised to power x times b raised to power x so using this identity here we will split this power over 100 and 5 so this will become this will become 100 raised to power 3 times 5 raised to power 3 and this number will be the same 499 here we can write this 100 as 10 square whole to power 3 and we can write this 5 cube as 5 cube is simply 5 times 5 is 25 and 25 times 5 is 125 so the value of 5 cube is 125 so we replace this number with 125 times and here we can write this number as the sum of 400 plus 90 plus 9. I change this number to the sum of these three numbers because here the multiplication of this number with each number is very easy. Here we need not to use any rough work or standard multiplication. So here in this one number we will do is an exponential identity. And we multiply the powers with each other. So this will become 10 raised to power 2 times 3 is 6. So this is 10 raised to power 6 times. And here multiply this number with 400, then with 90, and then last with 9. So we will do this multiplication here. So this will become 125 times 400. Plus, x multiply this number with 90. So 125 times 90 plus next we will multiply it with 9 so this will become 125 times 9 now just do this multiplication here so this will become 10 raised to power 6 times no the multiplication of this number with 400 is very easy this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 4 is 4 times 5 is 20 so 0, 2 is carried, 
4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, so 0, 1 will be carried, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 plus carried 1 is 5. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 50,000 plus, then let's multiply these two numbers, so 125 times 0 is 0, 125 times 9 is, 9 times 5 is 45, so this is 5, 4 is carried, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 plus 4 is 22, so 2, 2 is carried, 9 times 1 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 11,250. Now here we multiply these two numbers. So 9 times 5 is 45. 5 4 is carried. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. So 2 2 is carried. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. So this gives him 1,125. Here we will try to add these three numbers and then multiply the result with this one number. So to add these three numbers, we will start from the ones position. So this number will be the same, 10 raised to power 6 times. Now to add these three numbers, we will start from the ones position. So 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. Next is 2. So 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. Next is 1. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. Next is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. Next is again 1, so 1 plus 5 is 6. So here the addition of these three numbers gives him 62,375. Here we have to multiply these two numbers without any rough work or any calculator. So therefore next we can write these two numbers as we will write this number to the left hand side and we will move this number to the right hand side. So this will become 62,375 times 10 raised to power 6. Now here 10 raised to power 6 is in exponential form. So we will change it to from exponential form to this one form, simplified form. So this will become 62,375 times. Here we can write this is here taking 6 over 1 is simply 1. And there are this is 1 having 6 power. So we will write this 0 6 times. So therefore the value of 10 raised to the power 6 is 1 followed by 6 zeros which is 1 million. Now here the multiplication of this number with 1 million is very easy. This number times 1 is this one number. So this will become 6, 2, 3, 7, 5. And the multiplication of this number with these zeros is 0. So there will be 6 zeros because there are 6 zeros. Now here the product of these two numbers gives him 62 billion 375 million. So finally 62 billion 375 million is our answer and value of this beautiful and interesting exponential math problem.